Styles are usually applied to text if your Styles palette isn't open. Go to Window, click on Styles. So let's put some text up here, VTC. And these sets of styles are very similar to preset brushes that you've made. You just click on it and the style that's in that preset is visible here. There are a couple of ways to access the styles box by double clicking here or by going down here and just clicking on one of these brings it up. You can obviously make changes to this existing style by clicking off of the boxes or adding new ones. Let's go through this dialog box here. This is the color of the drop shadow. You can change the color. You can even change the blending mode. Opacity of it. The angle of the drop shadow distance. And what's convenient here is of course you can see everything as you're doing it. What effect it's making. The contour is interesting. It's often overlooked. Come up with some interesting effects. And you can even load custom contours, clicking in here. So if you have the style ready the way you like it, just click on New Style. OK, OK. You start a, some more text here. Click into your Styles palette, right at the bottom is the one that you just made and saved. Alternatively, you can start from scratch and go into your Styles palette. A lot of these preset styles are a little too flashy for my liking, so you may just want a nice drop shadow, bevel and emboss. may want a color overlay. can drop the opacity down. Once again you just save it as a new style. You can also load styles by clicking here. Load styles. These are the ones that are shipped with Photoshop. And it's added them on the end here. 